it gives a clue based on that you read the question you correlate the important clue points from the question and the image based on that you arrive an answer and search the answer it will be there okay with this introduction i'll go to the topic just a minute first question yes started 24 man admitted with cough hemoptysis with weight loss physician suspected pulmonary tuberculosis and sputum for microbiological investigation microscopy shown in the image choose the correct microscopy with the resolution power that's all so it's a case of tuberculosis they are suspecting they send the bacteria back bacterial picture it is not acid first stain because commonly we are using acid first stain for uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis it is not acid first stain this is not fluorescent stain also fluorescent stain it will glow yellowish color aramin rodamin this is electron microscope electron microscope which electron microscope we are we are seeing three dimensional structure so the three dimensional structure we can seen with scanning electron microscope it's a tubercle basal line it is scanning electron microscope you are seeing three dimensional structure suppose if you are able to see internal structure it may be transmission electron microscope so now you conclude it the picture is obtained from a scanning electron microscope that is the first point second point what is the resolution power of the scanning electron microscope you need to recollect okay among the choices the resolution power of the scanning electron microscope is 20 nanometer transmission electron microscope is 0.2 nanometer or any fluorescent or ordinary light microscope or uh, face contrast uh, sorry face contrast microscope dark field microscope all it is 0.2 millimeter okay so first you choose it is scanning electron microscope the correct answer with 20 nanometer with 20 nanometer great it is not point to nanometer my dears many people put answer c not point to nanometer point to nanometer is for transmission electron microscope to purposefully to confuse you i gave this value be careful so even if i identify the picture perfectly even if i identify it is scanning electron microscope but if you don't know the resolution power you may lose one mark even if you leave the mark also you can have zero mark if you made some mistake Minus one. It's equal to minus five of your total. Okay. Good. 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 Many people beautifully answering. Okay. Next is. See the picture. First, you see the picture. Get something in your mind, and uh, next we'll discuss. Here, there is a red color ring on the top of the solution. Red color ring on the top of the solution. what is the name of the test the test is called indol test name of the test is called indol test we'll see anything related to indol indol they asked a gram negative pathogen isolated from wound infection is positive for a biochemical test as shown in the image choose the pathogen based on this clue yes this biochemical reaction is indole test beautiful and another important clue gram negative pathogen see any gram positive is that to rule out proteus gram negative pseudomonas gram negative shigella gram negative klebsiella gram negative all four are gram negatives so no use from wound infection another is there anything we can uh, isolate it from wound infection or anything may cause or may not cause wound infection proteus causes wound infection Pseudomonas causes wound infection. Klebsiella causes wound infection, except Shigella soni. So I can rule out Shigella soni only based on the clue, based on the clinical scenario. 
and what is the biochemical test this is called indole test indole test is nothing but indole test is nothing but to demonstrate tryptophanase activity tryptophanase activity this i taught in my regular class my dear gill london you go and see and you can see in back to basics also okay right tryptophanase the tryptophanase it break the tryptophan into indole it convert if you add a reagent called covax indole reagent covax indole reagent okay it produces red color ring on the top can you remember in my class i used to tell a template name of the test principle of the test positive how it look like with the examples if you attend my regular class definitely you people know this the table i put on table for biochemical reactions okay and listen to me carefully example for indole positive organisms or i used to tell evp escherichia coli vibrio cholera and proteus vulgaris not proteus mirabilis proteus vulgaris is indole positive mirabilis indole negative okay so among the choices pseudomonas indole negative shigella indole negative klebsiella all indole negative except proteus vulgaris answer is a answer is a answer is a make things easy so the take home message you can get one question maybe like this urea test indole test catalase test like that some important biochemical test you should go through this okay great great people beautifully answered yes next is see the picture in exam i got a very good comment sir within one minute how can i remember all those things simple see this picture this picture says unilateral periorbital edema with ptosis we call it as romana sign romana sign very good anushka beautifully answered romana sign romana sign you can see in chagas disease it's due to trypanosoma cruzi cruzi chagas disease yeah after seeing the picture you remember this three point romana sign it is it's seen in trypanosoma cruzi chagas disease so now you see the question anything related to this topic sometimes directly they will ask what is the agent what is the sign if you are lucky sometimes they may ask some question related to the picture come on student from argentina presents with a specific sign as shown in the image yes that is romana sign all the following are the vectors except all the following are the vectors except so what is the vector for trypanosoma cruzi or what is the vector for chagas disease we call it as triatom infestans it is otherwise called assassin bug otherwise called cone nose bug the question is except my dear question is except and it has one more name is called kissing bug it is having one more name called kissing bug redwood bug and another name redwood bug these are all other names five names my dears remember triatom assassin cone nose kissing redwood all are same scientific name is triatom infestans except is cc fly or set c fly it is vector for trypanosoma bruzii 
which causes african sleeping sickness african sleeping sickness see be careful question is except what my kids will do as usual after seeing chagas they put right home no see the question is except that is important every word in the question is important next is yeah first you see the picture that's the technique my technique first you see the picture it is a trophozoite with hair like appendage hair like appendage we call it as cilia presence of cilia ciliated protozoa another thing macronucleus horseshoe shape macronucleus we call it as macronucleus it is horseshoe shape horseshoe shape yes many people beautifully answering balantidium coli this is called balantidium coli yeah this is the right approach so as per the picture it is balantidium coli trophozoite whatever question we will go to that question we will see anything related to balantidium coli we will see so mind fix with balantidium coli matter of 130 seconds you need to fix it 30 year old female admitted with abdomen pain cramps and bloody diarrhea it causes ciliate diarrhea ciliate dysentery stool microscopy revealed pathogen as shown in the image yes it is trophozoite of balantidium coli choose the correct motility of the pathogen that's all what is the motility of the this thing what is the because it's having cilia my dear somebody asks sir how to say it's trophozoite it is having cilia on the surface okay largest protozoa what motility we should know all motilities twitching motility exhibited by trichomonas reversion motility or football motility exhibited by balantidium coli and the right answer falling leaf is jadia if you identify this as a jadia your answer will be falling leaf tumbling motility by bacteria called listeria listeria monocytogens okay listeria monocytogens football or reversion motility very good join me many people beautifully answering okay right so based on the picture identify the picture correctly based on that read the question you connect this picture and the question and you will get the answer okay that connectivity is very important because everybody read the theory either the problem in identifying the picture or problem in connecting the theory with the picture question with the picture next is yeah first we'll see the picture what come to your mind how the rash look like this is a typical rash is a typical rash how people can describe the rash yes this is called blueberry muffin rash it is called blueberry muffin rash yes anushka beautiful perfect blueberry muffin rash that's all in blueberry muffin rash okay everybody says it's rubella yes my mind also says first choice will be rubella rubella causes blueberry muffin rash but we'll see the question anything related to rubella rubella one option is there but see the question carefully don't go to rubella many people they go to rubella uh, Chandra Keshwani, I mean uh, Anushri is just beautifully answered. Similar type of rash shown in the image is seen all the following conditions except whenever except question comes, that means you are going to be in trouble, trouble ahead. Okay, so you need to know every point before answering except question. Be careful, you need to know all the choices. Then only you can go for except. So what are the people causing blueberry muffin rash? There's a famous of my mnemonic PCR. parvovirus 
B19, slap cheek rash, blueberry muffin rash, cytomegalovirus, and rubella. Parvovirus B19, cytomegalovirus, and rubella. Yes, Chandini. Okay, yes. Parvovirus, cytomegalovirus, and rubella. This mnemonic is PCR. PCR produces a typical blueberry muffin rash. Okay, so here parvo, cytomegalovirus, rubella, except varicella. Because what type of rash we can see in varicella? Pleomorphic rash. Macule, papule, pustule, crust, everything is there. Okay, so we are having pleomorphic crash at one point of time. So, what my kids will do many times after seeing the picture, hey, blueberry muffin rash, rubella, go to rubella. Without reading, they go to rubella, they mark rubella. No. So, if the question is easy, means you read one more time, there may be some trap, may be there, little trap may be there. That's all. Okay, you practice. This is a practice session you can do. Whatever mistake here, acceptable, not in the exam. Okay? Right, my dears. See the picture. There are three rapid tests are there. One rapid test is called A1. Another rapid test is called A2. Another one is A3. Three rapid tests are there. And rapid test 1, what is the result? It is positive for HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies. A2 only control positive, others negative because white color is non-reactive. And A3 also negative. So there are three results are there. Three tests A1 plus A2 negative, A3 negative. What is your diagnosis? What is your interpretation of NACO test? What is your interpretation of NACO test? A1 positive for both, A2 negative, A3 negative. Antibodies is the antibody based test. So, what is your interpretation? We may get a question nowadays like this because it is a government guideline. Tomorrow, if you become a medical officer, you need to interpret the result in OPD when patient comes with results. 30 year old school teacher, every word is important. School teacher tested for HIV in an ICTC for pre operative assessment. She is not having any signs and symptoms. Just before surgery, we are routinely doing the test. So, the result shown in the image. Yes, choose the correct interpretation based on the NACO guideline. Beautifully, people answering. Yes, perfect. When all three tests are positive, it is positive. Just I am going to give the final results. If one test, first test is positive, other two, any one positive, is indeterminate. And finally, first test positive, second and third negative, there are two types of results. In case of high risk people, please remember this is very important, high risk people, commercial sex worker or uh, intravenous drug user, homosexuals, like that high risk behavior, you can call it as indeterminate. In case of low risk, normal people, you call it as negative. So here she is a school teacher and for pre-operative assessment. So low risk individual we can say answer is everybody answered already beautifully. It is negative. But you should know why we are marking negative. Suppose in case if the question comes as commercial sex worker then the answer will be indeterminate. Answer will be indeterminate. So every word is important in the question. School teacher and pre-operative assessment make low risk and it is negative. Suppose the same school teacher, she is having a sexual encounter with unprotected sex with somebody. Okay, if the question comes like that, then it causes risk will be there. Then you can say indeterminate like that. So depending upon the history, you need to answer. Got it my dear? 
or wants the inter indeterminate if both tests are negative to second and third we call it as uh, in high risk behavior it is indeterminate it is indeterminate otherwise in the second and third any one test is positive indeterminate second and third both positive positive 50% positive is indeterminate both negative actually negative cool you people understand that thank you next is see the picture this is acid fasting because the blue background or green background if you use methylene blue blue background malachite green green background you can see some cyst i don't know what cyst it is and many cysts are not stained unstained cyst unstained cyst we call it as ghost cyst we call it as ghost cyst some things are there it may give or has a good question sorry if a1 is negative in previous question if a1 is negative don't do a2 a3 it is negative that's all you see the algorithm okay right come on so it is coccidin parasite we don't know without size but a, a clue is there ghost cysts are present usually ghost cysts are seen with cyclospora i don't know how far it's my assumption okay and uh, see the question a plhiv hiv positive with profuse watery diarrhea of two weeks duration stool microscope revealed acid fast oocyst around 8 to 10 micrometer that's all 8 to 10 micrometer hiv positive watery diarrhea acid fast oocyst these three are the golden points if it is 4 to 6 micrometer we can go for cryptosporidium if it is 8 to 10 micrometer and partially acid fast Four to eight micrometer, eight to ten micrometer, eight to ten micrometer. Okay, it is partially acid fast. Not all three are here, my dear. See the size. Everything is equal size. I got a query from uh, uh, Chantini. All are same size. You can't say all three. It is cyclospora, cyst isospora. It the one and only oocyst which is oval in shape. It is like this. It is oval in shape, like this. oval and it's around 15 to 35 micrometer size may be vary so one and only oval is cyst isospora this is round this is little big round and it also have partially acid fast partially acid fast ghost cyst will be there microsporidia now it is not a protozoa with the caprin fungus okay so always we may have a question on opportunity infection in hiv diarrhea especially watery diarrhea and treatment for all usually uh, sulfa drugs quatramazole cryptosporidium nitrogen oxide we are giving okay that's all yes ghost cells only seen with uh, cyclospora that is the uh, that is the clue that is the clue okay this called partially acid fast and one more property also there my dears you should not forget auto fluorescence exhibited by a uh, cyclospora auto fluorescence exhibited by cyclospora these are all in the notes just to go through this auto fluorescence exhibited by cyclospora without fluorescence stain if you see under a microscope they beautifully glow that is called auto fluorescence yeah next is see the picture what come to your mind describe the picture yes perfect it is banana or boat shaped gametocyte banana or boat shaped gametocyte 
Yes, Farin Sultana, beautiful. Auto infection cryptococcus. Yes, she mentioned a nice point. Then we can discuss, means we can discuss, keep on going. Very good, I love this. Okay, great. See here. Banana or boat shaped gametocyte, it is diagnostic of Plasmodium falciparum. So the question may be something related to Plasmodium falciparum. It may be resistant, it may be diagnostic stage, it may be infective stage, or something mode of transmission, something or what is a vector, anything they may ask. So your mindset should be focused to Plasmodium falciparum. Come on. A transfusion transmitted infection pathogen shown in the image. Yes, Plasmodium mode of transmission, mosquito bite, apart from that blood transfusion. Five organisms, parasites, blood transfusion. What are the five organisms? BPL, TT, remember. Babesia, Plasmodium, Leishmania, Toxoplasma, Trypanosoma. These five people are transfusion transmitted via blood transfusion they have. What is the infective stage? In routine, normally the infective stage is sporozoid, but it is mode of transmission mosquito bite, female anaphylis mosquito bite. Normally, mode of transmission mosquito bite, sporozoid. But it is blood transfusion that is important, my dears. See, that is the point, key point. If the question is very simple, you need to read one more time, little slowly. Transfusion. In transfusion, malaria the infective stage is directly from rbc we are giving rbc not mosquito bite trophozoite trophozoite tachycyte seen in toxo not in plasmodium this also seen in toxo toxoplasmosis tachycyte and bradycyte seen in toxoplasmosis Okay, here only two options, either sporocyte or trophocyte. Many people after plasmodium, they thought infective stage is sporocyte, they go. No, here the trap is transfusion. You should not get trapped. That's all. This is the difference between, everybody studies, this is the difference between the topper and the people who are not able to achieve. Everything is fine, they need little fine tuning. This kind of fine tuning only make you the difference. Except like many accept questions people made lot lot little wrong things i saw in the chat box okay next is an anaerobic organism sorry before that we'll see i should not violate my rule first see the picture it is a blood agar plate and what type of colony what type of colony any idea Molar tooth colonies. Molar tooth colonies. So, just that's all. If you know the colony morphology or selective medium, you can easily answer many questions in bacteriology. It gives you a clue. Molar tooth colonies are classical feature of actinomyces. With this idea, if they directly ask actinomyces, you are lucky. If they ask anything, you can just think, that's all. An anaerobic organism isolated from a facial subling with discharge exhibited a typical colony morphology shown in the image. What is the facial swelling? It is nothing but cervico facial actinomycosis. Cervico facial actinomycosis cervicofacial actinomycosis in solid culture it produces molar tooth colony liquid culture fluffy ball fluffy ball thank you i will meet in dvt yes i also eagerly waiting my dears okay cervicofacial it's a triad of swelling sinus and Sulfur granules. Swelling, sinus and sulfur granules. It's a triad. It's a cervical facial actinomycosis and it produces molar tooth colonies or sometimes spidery molar tooth colonies in solid culture. 
liquid culture fluffy ball appearance so answer is actinomyces nocardia produces orange pigmented colony yellow to orange pigmented colony in nocardia okay right next is why control yes see picture itself you can come to conclusion it is gomari methanamine silver nitrate stain any uh, silver stain silver nitrate stain if the organism will be black color silver nitrate reduced nitrate we have typical broken pink ball appearance we call it as broken pink ball appearance broken pink ball appearance typical broken pink ball appearance okay and somebody answered it's coccidium mycosis i'll tell listen hiv positive admitted with pneumonia most common cause of fungal pneumonia and hiv positives are pneumocystis gomari methanamine silver nitrate stain of bronco alveolar lavage in the image shown in the image choose the correct pathogen is a direct question hiv positive gms stain and it produces broken pink ball appearance is nemocystis zurovaci nemocystis zurovaci pencilia mornafi now it is called tularomyces mornafi it is dimorphic fungi paragonimus westermani is a protozoa i mean it's a helminth sorry trematode pseudomonas aeruginosa is a bacteria okay so easily you can make it nemocystis zurovaci most common cause of opportunistic infection fungal infection in uh, hiv positive especially it causes pneumonia most common uh prophylaxis you can get prophylaxis cotrimaxazole usually i got some other questions also okay whenever the patient found to be hiv positive up to cd4 200 you can give uh prophylaxis chemo prophylaxis cotrimax is the best drug it can prevent 5 to 6 opportunistic infection cotrimax so it prevent toxo it prevent nemocystis zurovaci pneumonia it prevent cryptosporidium i mean uh, coccidin parasites it can prevent nocardia and other bacterial infections many thing wonderful drug cotrimax so very good drug for prophylaxis next is see the picture what come to your mind that's all easily you can shoot what appearance what appearance beautiful this is called what body asteroid body is very good anushka asteroid body is asteroid body is a diagnostic of in mycology sporothrix immediately you should learn 5 to 6 points you need to remember 5 to 6 point it is sporothrix dimorphic fungi and uh, it causes rose gardeners disease ulcers along lymphatic drainage treatment etraconazole so these five points you need to remember after seeing asteroid bodies okay now we approach histopathological examination of ulcers along lymphatic drainage shown in the image characteristic feature of the causative agent characteristic feature of the causative agent it is dimorphic fungi acceptable it grows in yeast form and mold form and drug of choice is not saturated solution of potassium iodide it was the drug of choice previously old books may shown this now the treatment is itraconazole i remove this so it is available in two format it is available in two format yeast is chigar shape beautifully people mentioned who is that yeah priya shaga okay and mold is floret shape yeast at body temperature and environment it is mold 
so it is east at 37 degree that is the correct answer it grows as east in 37 degree and mold in 25 degree mold in 25 degree even though people knows it's yeast or mold they will have the doubt i used to tell in my regular class you write everything in alphabetical order mold yeast 25 37 ascending order and uh, this is environment or culture you can make it culture seen in tissues that's all so mold form at 35 yeast form at 37 in tissues that's all make things very simple make things very simple right you can remember like that also yeast heat cold that is a routine way of teaching don't worry next is Identify the failure nematode based on the microfilariation. Always is a microfilaria. Is it sheathed or not? It is sheathed. It is sheathed. And tail tip is free from nucleus. sheathed tail tip is free from nuclei that's all you should know the algorithm of identifying microfilariae three people are sheathed l b w and lower lava tail tip is filled with the nucleus brugia two nuclei no nucleus ucheruria other two people ancosarca and manzanella no sheath no nuclei usually usually lbw ohm mnemonic yes so it is ucheruria band crafty that's all sheathed because low lower sheath ucheruria sheath these two people are no unsheathed and low lower full of nucleus tail tip is free from nucleus suggestive of ucheruria band crafty ucheruria band crafty it causes band craft in filariasis it causes band craft in filariasis kyluria Elephant asses. Treatment diethyl carbamycin. Vector culex mosquito. Learn few points on it. That's all. Okay. Next is. Yes. Always my favorite. Vectors. Always I used to say my dears. Vectors are important. In my regular class, I used to tell, if you don't know how to identify the vector, every vector look like cockroach. You remember the word from me? Yeah. So, if you know, you can identify, otherwise it's brown cockroach, that's all. No wings. And comparing with four leg, hind legs are huge. It is beautifully people already found. No problem. My job will be easy. Rat flea. We call it as rat flea. So rat flea is the vector for. First you, you just first you identify rat flea. Then second you think what is the vector. Then you move to others. It is vector for plague. It is vector for plague. And vector for endemic typhus. Vector for endemic typhus and plague. This is very common. Rat flea. Okay. Come on. So, endemic typhus, it's a vector. Epidemic typhus, vector is louse. Scrub typhus, vector is trombicloid mite. And Indian tick typhus, vector is tick. So, easily you can make it. It is endemic typhus. Rat flea is endemic typhus. Like that, you need to know how to identify other vectors and they are acting as a vector for following diseases you should know the diseases this is important so always we may have a question on vectors inevitable 100% you may get a question on 
uh, vectors no doubt on it this our experience by past 10 years not one or two years 10 years the name of exam will be uh, neat or now they changed any set or individual university exams or whatever it may be next is see the picture maclo papular rash lot of differential diagnosis are there don't worry but if you identify gill london scrub drug of choice is doxycycline or tetracycline mainly okay azithro may be useful you can give doxy or tetra right come on choose the correct vaccine strain for this clinical condition so you need to identify the first vaccine strain whether it's correlate with the picture suppose if you are not able to identify the picture properly if you identify this a macular papular rash it's a case of measles well and good otherwise don't worry 17d for yellow fever it is not yellow fever no yellow discoloration ra 27 bar 3 for rubella rubella produces blueberry muffin rash not here remove the gerail in mumps mumps there is no rash and you can come you can get the answer by any way edmonston zagreb strain edmonston zagreb strain for measles measles produces macular papular rash and people call it as dripped pain bucket rash because the if you make a person to sit and pour the paint red color paint on the head what happens in the face area it is coarse the paint is thick when coming down the paint become dispersed like that the rash is coarse in the face when it comes to the body it almost dispersed so that presentation is called dripped pain bucket rash okay is pathognomic of uh, measles apart from that you can have coplex part other thing and all and you should know the infectivity it is not yellow fever yellow fever there won't be rash like this yellow fever there will be bleeding disorders will be there okay and yellow fever it's called yellow fever everything become yellow liver failure will be there so yellow discoloration of sclera cornea like that and there have pethical spots will be there not like this okay not like a rash good A lot of discussions will be there. If you want to discuss the cases, yes, as PE like that, we can discuss. So Edmondson. So you should know all vaccine strains. You should know all vaccine strains. Park William made for Cornubacterium diphtheria like that. Okay. I will finish five minutes before of the time. Give some questions. If you want some questions, one or two questions, I will take. What is it? everybody will tell because you should know all egg morphology you remember dr surya's egg formulas seven formulas right same way this is egg with lateral spine lateral spine lateral spine you can see in schistosoma manzoni Schistosoma manzoni mainly causes gastroenteritis. Gastroenteritis. It associates portal hypertension also. It associates with portal hypertension. It is not hematobium, my dear. Hematobium is terminal. Please remember, hematobium is terminal. A knob-like structure is Schistosoma japonicum. Schistosoma hematobium terminal. This is Schistosoma manzoni, manzonian fluke. It associated with diarrhea, like features and portal hypertension. So, what is the specimen? What our my kids will do after seeing this Schistosoma? Next minute they go to urine specimen. No, urine specimen is one and only Schistosoma hematobium because it causes, it causes. hematuria it resides in bladder bladder fluke it causes uh, bladder cancer many things and others both schistosoma manzoni 
and Shisosama japanicum. You can go for ideal specimen is stool because the it is not residing in bladder. They resides in mesenteric veins. Stool is the specimen. Treatment prasicontal. Beautifully people answering. I'm seeing. So a lot of points if people recollect. I mean immediately I'm so happy. The question may be anything may ask. Sometimes you may ask what is the treatment. Already people answered without asking. They answer treatment prasicontal. Some people mentioned. Who is that? Paras. Paras Kapoor. Okay. Katayama fever. Is stool. Here answer is stool. Don't say why not stool. It's answer is stool. Jayashree Arbam. Answer is stool. Okay. Next is. So. Even if you identify properly. You should know the. Or I may ask a question. What is the infective stage of this pathogen? What is infective stage of this pathogen? Or what is the mode of transmission? Infective stage is circari. Mode of transmission, skin penetration. Like that, question may be anything. Question may be it causes swimmer itch. Yes, Siddharth Garg. Okay, right. Frenzy, beautifully answered. Next is. Yes, sometimes question may be simple, look silly, don't be overconfident. What is it? It's a microscopy image. Simply you can tell it is gram positive cocci arranged in clusters. I can say it is staphylococcus. I can't say it's aureus because all staphylococcus are gram positive cocci in clusters. So happily I can declare this is staphylococcus. I don't know it is aureus or not, but something question may be related to staphylococcus. Okay, come on. Within four to six hours of consumption of potato salad from a restaurant, 34 old female develop severe gastroenteritis. Within six hours, gastroenteritis. Examination of food revealed pigment producing gram positive cocci. That's all. Now you, I can say it is staph aureus. Now I can say it's staph aureus because it produces pigment, golden yellow pigment. Okay, shown in the image. Perfect. Mechanism of action of the enterotoxin. It produces a enterotoxin. Within one to six hours, vomiting is the predominant feature. How the vomiting occurs, that's all. Even if you know the pathogen, even if you know the toxin, you should know the mechanism of action of toxin. Nowadays questions are like that. The clinical part and microbiology part beautifully they are integrating. So up to this it's pure clinical part. But mechanism of action of toxin, microbiology part, they are integrating. Okay. Stimulation of cyclic AMP leads to diarrhea. Seen in cholera. Cyclic GMP is stable toxin of E. coli. Acts through ganglioside GM receptor GM1 is Vibrio. So vagal stimulation. Vagal stimulation. Yes, Chandani, it's GM1 is by Vibrio. Correct. Okay. Vagal stimulation. Leads to vomiting. Vomiting is the predominant feature because it's a preformed toxin. Heat stable preformed exotoxin heat stable preformed exotoxin okay that's all even though it's we don't underestimate it's a simple question staphylococcus like that no sometimes they may ask what is the selective medium for it what is the selective medium ludlam's medium or mannitol salt agar name the procedure shown in the image see here it is immunology question. Antigen is here. Antibody is here. Here, antigen, it's plain gel. Antigen coming down. Antibody going. Where they meet optimum concentration, it forms line of precipitation. So, it is one dimension. Immunoprecipitation. Double diffusion.
वन डायमेंशन डबल डिफ्यूशन वॉट टेस्ट इट इज नेम द प्रोसीजर शोन इन द इमेज वन डायमेंशन आर टू पीपल ऑर्ड इन ऑक्ले फुल तोर दीस आर टू डायमेंशन दीस आर ऑल टू डायमेंशन वन डायमेंशन सिंगल डिफ्यूशन इज ऑड इन and one dimension double diffusion is ockley full tor procedure mancini two dimension single diffusion and acerloni two dimension double diffusion make it easy i always used to tell tube means one dimension plate means two dimension it is tube so one dimension only antigen moves single diffusion both antigen antibody moves double diffusion here both antigen also moving antibody also moving double diffusion so first you need to describe it is one dimension double diffusion is ockley full torp suppose one dimension single diffusion is odd in procedure got it this is important my dears this is important you need to work out spend 5 10 minutes each one each one you spend 5 minutes just to 20 minutes you can uh, understand and the example for acerloni procedure is lx gel precipitation test sometimes they'll give the picture of lx gel don't worry where the antigen antibody both are moving in the plate two dimension it is acerloni procedure next is what is the structure this structure everybody easily you can answer is a fundamental two attachments are there two attachments are there and this is antigen binding unit it is made up of two units alpha 1 unit beta 1 unit both are separate see both are separate so this structure is called mhc Two. This call MHC two. Actually MHC two. And what is the question? The structure shown in the image present in all the following cells except all the following cells except. So MHC one present in all the nucleated cells except RBC. So please remember MHC one seen all nucleated cells. that's all except you decide it is rbcs mhc2 it is mainly present in professional antigen presenting cells what is the mnemonic professional antigen presenting cells are bdm please remember my mnemonic bdm b cells dendritic cells and macrophages yes great great kamta gil med student chantri everybody beautifully are answering great so very simple question but for that you need to identify this mhc2 so once you identified the mhc2 it present in all except don't be see after seeing this mhc2 macrophage it present don't go like this you need to read the question it is except so it seen in macrophage dendritic cells b cells except platelets except platelets got it so as per my promise now the time is exactly 7:55 5 minutes before one hour time they gave 7 to 8 okay i start sharply started at 7 o'clock and 7:55 i have completed the class as usual on time nicely interacted my kids you people beautifully you interacted i'm so happy 
and thrilled to see you in dvt we'll see dvt okay yeah rule of 8 mh1 interacts with cd 8 mh2 interacts with cd 4 t cell receptor of cd4 okay thank you thank you all god bless you see you soon with another session thank you all